Have you ever thought that the actuarial career would be absolutely perfect for you, that you would love the actuarial career? But the second you think about that, these other feelings start to bubble up. Things like overwhelm, fear. Maybe you're feeling like you're just not sure whether you're going to be able to do this. It might even feel odd to you because in the past you've probably experienced lots of success. You've done well in school. You've done well in other jobs, maybe in your career if you're starting a bit later. So it might feel a bit scary to do this on your own and not have much guidance. That feeling of doing it alone, feeling unsure, it can make you really feel a bit uncomfortable. It might even make you second guess or contemplate the actuarial career. You might be feeling in your head like 50% of the time you're all in, you just want to go for this, you think it would be amazing. But then the other 50% of the time you're like, I don't know if I can do this. Am I really going to be able to make it? What if I don't end up getting a job? You have this back and forth conversation in your head just making you second guess your decision to go for this. If I have discovered you, then the Actuary Accelerator community is perfect for you. It has basically been designed for someone like you. By the way, I'm Bria, Associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community. And this is a place where we train future actuaries that are just getting into the actuarial career and starting their journey. We train them to become top candidates so that they can get their actuarial dream job as quickly as possible and with the most likelihood of success as well. So now now let's get into the details about what the AAC is, how it can help you, and whether this is an investment that you want to make for yourself. Okay, so I was essentially in your exact situation many, many years ago now. I went to school for actuarial science and I was really fortunate to be able to have that guidance, that support. I was surrounded by other people that were going through their actuarial journey at the same time as I was. Plus I also was able to get support from professors, guidance counselors at my school, and also just the other people that were ahead of me in their actuarial journey in third, fourth year when I was only in first or second year. I also got a lot of support from my internships. I was able to ask managers for help and guidance on what I should be doing in order to give myself the best chance of getting an actuarial job. Now I say this not to brag or anything about what I had. Really I say it because I don't know if I would have been able to achieve success in the actuarial field if I didn't have all of that support. But the problem is that not everyone has that. If you are so someone that isn't in an actuarial science program or someone that is starting their actuarial journey after they've already graduated from school. There are very limited number of places that you can go to get all that support and guidance, mentorship, help, just that community of other people doing this at the same time as you. That is basically unheard of unless you are already in a great actuarial science program. So basically the AAC brings that to you. Those future actuaries that are out there that don't have that school to go to that actuarial science program to rely on. The AAC is basically set up for the beginner, someone that maybe even isn't 100% sure that they want to get into the actuarial career. They still have questions. They still aren't really sure what an actuary does, all that sort of stuff. If that is someone that describes you, then the AAC is basically where you will want to start your actuarial journey. You're going to be able to get in there, determine whether the career is for you. And if you decide it is, then it's going to help you achieve all the success, all the steps, all the qualifications that you need in order to reach that top level candidate that you need to be in order to stand out in the actuarial marketplace. I have often talked about on this channel how the actuarial market is competitive. There's a lot of people that want to become actuaries and in order to stand out and really get noticed you do have to be one of those top candidates and that's what the AAC really shows you how to do. In the AAC we have this five stage pyramid. So basically you're going to be able to work yourself all the way up to getting your first actuarial job just by following the steps in the AAC. They're all laid out for you step by step. So basically you'll complete one module and then the next and then the next and then the next. And as you complete all these modules, you're gradually going to become a better and better and better and better and better candidate until you are ultimately that top candidate. And then you can also follow the steps in there in order to get your first job. It's basically designed so that you don't have to think about anything. You don't have to go and get outside advice, you can just follow these steps and you'll know exactly what to do. You go through these five phases and they are the beginner phase where you really learn whether the actuarial career is right for you and what it's all about. And then you move into the rising candidate phase. This is phase two and it's where you really learn the foundational elements you need to be a great candidate for actuarial jobs. Then you move on to phase three, which is where you really start to specialize in the actuarial career. Little fact here, a lot of people start 
start in phase three when they actually should be starting in the beginner phase. So if you are someone that is just starting out your actuarial journey, you might actually be starting ahead of where you should and that's going to cause you to spend more time on your actuarial journey than you really need to. Um, and then after that, you will be moving on to phase four, which is where you become a top candidate. It's where you really put the cherry on the top, I don't know, the icing on the cake, I guess, <laughs> um, so that you can become that best possible candidate that you can be and really stand out amongst everyone else that probably isn't going to reach that top candidate phase. And then in the fifth phase is where you learn to present yourself to actuarial employers so that you have the best chance of getting an actuarial job. These are the five phases and going through them all is going to give you the best chance of success. In the Actuary Accelerator community, there is so much for you to learn so that you can become that top candidate and get your first actuarial job. It not only helps you determine what the actuarial career is all about and whether it will be right for you, but you also get to learn Microsoft Excel and some programming, which is so important for someone going into the actuarial field. You're going to learn tons of actuarial terminology and different concepts, which again is important because a lot of people going into the field don't really have that background. So for you to go into interviews with confidence about different concepts, that's going to give you a big advantage. You're also going to learn about stepping stone positions. If you've heard me talk about those, um, you'll figure out what stepping stone positions would be good for you. You'll learn how to prepare successfully for your actuarial exams. Again, something that a lot of people have trouble with. You're also going to learn how to create a resume that makes you stand out. It's so important that you not only become a top candidate, but you also make sure that employers really know that you're a top candidate. If you don't have both of those, then you may have a hard time actually getting that job. We also help you with the interview process and making sure that you're doing everything you can there to give yourself the best chance of getting that actuarial job. Now, I know this may seem overwhelming. There's a lot that you're going to be able to learn in the AAC, but rest assured, this is all designed and laid out for you step by step. So you don't have to figure out which order to learn these all in. You don't just get thrown a whole bunch of stuff and you have to figure it out on yourself. No, this is all designed step by step for you so that you know know exactly what order to do this all in. Each module in there will help you get closer to becoming a top candidate. You can mark each module complete as you go so you don't forget where you are and you'll be able to see that gradual progression and see visually how you are getting better and better and better qualified for actuarial jobs. Now yes, there are all these trainings in the AAC that are going to help you, but one of the biggest, biggest, biggest factors of the AAC that helps so many people see success is the community. We have a WhatsApp group that you will be able to get access to that really allows you to connect with all the other members of the AAC as well as the leadership of the AAC. So that means you're going to be able to get advice and insight from people that are ahead of you in their actuarial journey. If you are just starting out, you are bound to have questions. You're bound to run into problems. But the thing is that other people have experienced those same things as well. And if you just put a simple question out there, tell the problem that you're having, you will get tons of help and support and advice on how other people manage to solve that problem. And that means that you are going to be able to solve it quicker, get through that problem as efficiently as possible and continue on your actuarial journey without any hesitation. Now, if you are considering to join the Actuary Accelerator community first, I want to let you know three people that this is not for. Yes, this AAC is not for everyone. So if you are someone that already is in an actuarial science program at a great school and you have an actuarial science club that is helping you with all this stuff, you don't need to be in the AAC. Would it help you? Yeah, I'm sure you'd get some benefit from it, but it's not really who the program is designed for. This is designed for people that do not have access to all those other resources like an actuarial science club and actuarial science program. It's designed for those people so that they can have the best chance chance of success. Now, this is also not for someone that is not willing to put in the work. Becoming an actuary is not an easy process. It is something that is going to take you many months, possibly over a year for some people, depending on the pace that you go. If you are someone that just wants to suddenly have all the qualifications that you need in order to get an actuarial job, then this program is not for you. This program
program requires you to put in the work. It shows you how to do the different steps and what you need to do, but it doesn't do them for you. So if you are someone that does not want to put in that work, that isn't really feeling committed to the actuarial career, doesn't have dedication, then this isn't a program for you. And number three is this program is not for someone that just wants to pass actuarial exams and wants help doing only that. Becoming a top candidate for actuarial jobs is not all about passing actuarial exams. There's so much more you need to do in order to become a top candidate. Many people go into the actuarial field thinking that if they pass a few exams, then that's going to make them a great candidate, but it's absolutely not true. So if you are someone that just wants to pass exams, the AAC is not for you because we are going to be exposing you to so many other things that you need to do and helping you through those that you're not going to be really focusing 100% of your time on passing exams. Okay, so hopefully that clears up who the AAC is good for and not good for. Now, if you are one of those people that it sounds like the AAC would be good for, then a lot of the time I hear people think that. They feel that the AAC would be a good fit for them. They want that guidance. They want that support. They're really not sure what they need to do to become a top candidate, but they end up seeing the price of the AAC and they decide, ah, yeah, maybe I can wait. I'll see if I need to join this. I'm going to do some things on my own first and then I'll see if I need this. Or sometimes they're like, yeah, I can't afford that. So I'm going to just try to do this on my own. Sure, I can I can do it on my own, right? And those are totally reasonable feelings and thoughts to have. Many other people have become actuaries on their own, so why not you, right? I totally get that and it's totally true. You probably could get an actuarial job on your own. But here's the thing, and maybe you've heard me say this before, getting into the actuarial field is sort of like buying your very first house. This is something that you have never ever done before and you'll probably never do again. Once, once you become an actuary, you're an actuary. You don't need to do this again. When you buy your first house, you are basically in a very similar situation. You've never done it before. You have no idea what to look for in house foundations or all the different things that might be wrong with the house. You may have no idea what the neighborhood is like. You may not know how to fill out all the legal documents, all that sort of stuff. There is a lot that goes into buying a house that you would absolutely have no idea on what you need to do in order to make sure that you are making the best decision. Now, that's why many people do hire a real estate agent. A real estate agent has done this before. They know what to look for based on your needs. They know the community. They know the neighborhood and what you are kind of looking for. They know how to fill out all those documents and everything legal that has to be done for the house. They just know all this stuff because they have done it over and over and over and over and over again. They are able to provide you with so much insight about things that you may have not even thought about when buying your house. Going into the actuarial career is very similar. You're going to want someone to guide you through this, to help you make decisions, to help point out things that you have, may not have even realized. The Actuary Accelerator community provides that for you. It's basically like your real estate agent for the actuarial career. And in doing that, you're going to be able to achieve success in the actuarial career with a higher chance of success. You'll probably be able to get there easier because we're going to be able to warn you about all the different things that you may not even be thinking about. And you'll be able to get there faster because we have already been able to figure out the exact step-by-step -step way that has allowed candidates to reach that top candidate status as fast as possible and get their first actuarial job. There's no guessing and just hoping that you're doing things in the right way. It's a well-established path that's going to take you from the very beginning all the way to top candidate and help you get that first job. So basically it becomes this question of, do you want to give it your best shot from the very beginning? Or do you want to potentially spend 12, 18 months trying to become a great candidate for actuarial jobs, apply for jobs, and then potentially hear crickets when it comes to getting callbacks or emails back from employers? Is that something that you're okay with? potentially running into? Is it worth $5 a day for you to have that guidance, that accountability, that group of other people that are there to support you and answer your questions? Is that worth $5 a day to you? Well, the AAC is less than $5 a day. So if you are someone that just wants that support and you're willing to put in the effort, this would be a program that is a good fit for you. Really, what is your time worth? For most of you, your time is very limited. You have other things going on and you want to pursue the actuary 
tutorial career, but you don't have a lot of time. So being able to have access to a path that has proven to be successful for so many other actuarial candidates is going to save you tons of time and allow you to work this into your day-to-day -day life despite not having a ton of time to go through with your actuarial goals. The AAC is the only program of its kind for people that aren't already in actuarial science programs. I was fortunate enough to be able to go to school at the University of Waterloo for actuarial science. It is known as one of the best actuarial science programs in the whole world. But not everyone has access to that and you absolutely don't need that kind of schooling in order to achieve success in the actuarial field. So basically I am bringing all that knowledge of what I did and what has worked to help so many other future actuaries achieve success and bringing it all to you in the AAC. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure you go check out etchedactuarial.com slash accelerator. The AAC is open right now for a few more days, but if you are watching this after <laughs> that, then you will be able to get on the wait list for the next time the AAC opens. So just go down below to the link in the description of this video to get all the details and sign up or get on the wait list for next time it opens. That is all for this video. I would absolutely love to have you become a member of the AAC and I hope to see you in there. Bye for now.